Hello everyone, I am Rashmi here. I am going to talk about pollution of air and water. But in this video, I am going to talk about only pollution of air. We can survive for some time without food, but we cannot survive even for a few minutes without air. Air consists of about 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen. Carbon dioxide, argon, methane, ozone and water vapor are also present in very small quantities. When air is contaminated by unwanted substances which have harmful effect on both living and non-living, it is known as air pollution. What does air pollutant mean? The substances which contaminate or pollute the air are known as water pollutants. What are the sources of it? The sources of air pollutants are factories, power plants, automobile exhaust and burning of firewood and dung cakes. Vehicles produce pollutants such as carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxide and oxides of sulfur and smoke. Carbon monoxide is a poisonous gas which reduces the oxygen carrying capacity of blood. Smog. This is a thick layer in the atmosphere, especially during winter, made up of fog and smoke. Sulfur dioxide is mainly produced by burning fuels such as coal. It causes respiratory problems including permanent lung damage. CFC, that is chlorofluorocarbons. It is used in refrigerators, air conditioners and aerosol sprays cause depletion of ozone layer. Ozone layer protects us from ultraviolet rays of sun. What is ozone? Ozone is a layer of gases around the earth. It is triatom of oxygen atom. It protects the earth from the ultraviolet rays of sun. Acid rain. Pollutants like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide react with water vapor present in air to form sulfuric acid and nitric acid. The acid drops come down with rain which known as acid rain. This is evaporation of the water and NO2 and SO2 it's reacting with the water vapor present in the air and forming H2SO4 and HNO3 and this acid drops come down with rain, which known as acid rain. Marble cancer. Acid rain corrodes the marble, especially marble monuments. This phenomena is called marble cancer. Greenhouse effect. A part of the radiation of the sun that falls on the earth is absorbed by it and part is reflected back into space. A part of the reflected radiation is trapped by the atmosphere. This trapping of radiations of the Earth's atmosphere causes warming of the Earth which is known as greenhouse effect. Excess of CO2, methane, nitrogen oxide and water vapors are the gases responsible for the greenhouse effect. Therefore, these are also called greenhouse gases. Some of the infrared radiation passes through the atmosphere. Some of the some is absorbed by greenhouse gases and re-emitted in all the directions by the atmosphere. The effect of this is to warm Earth's surface and lower atmosphere. Global warming. Due to human activities, there is excess of CO2 in the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide traps heat and does not allow it to escape into space. As a result, the average temperature of atmosphere of the Earth gradually increases. This gradual increase in temperature is known as global warming. Causes of global warming are increase in population, increase in number of vehicles, pollution of air, cutting of trees. What is global warming? Warmer atmosphere and oceans rising sea levels, changing rainfall, rainfall patterns, expansion of deserts in 
the subtropics more flooding in the coastal areas melting of polar ice caps melting of glaciers more extreme weather events ocean acidification extinction of animal and plant species food security threat for humans how to reduce air pollution air pollution can be reduced by adopting the following processes but we should plant trees by using cng and unleaded petroleum vehicles by using public transport we should switch to solar energy hydropower and wind energy instead of fossil fuels for our energy requirements if you have any doubts or clarifications feel free to contact me via my email thank you everyone